Boiled eggs are horrid. How can you say that? Boiled eggs are the best. They're baby chickens. Are they egg? They're only baby chickens if there's a daddy hen. You can't have daddy hens. It's like saying daddy cows or daddy mummy. You can't have a daddy mummy. <laughs> no. Well, what did you say it for then? You're just being silly now. I don't know. Daddy mummy? You'll be saying daddy hens next. Hey, love. Morning. I made you some tea here. Yeah. Water. Hey, listen. I'm really sorry about last no, night. No, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It was the most important night of your life and I wasn't there for you. Yeah, well, it wasn't brilliant timing. I didn't want to leave. So why did you then? Well, you know why. Because Carl needed me. I needed you. You should have stayed. Why? Everything went all right, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a big success. I just needed somebody to celebrate with. I'm sorry. Will you stop saying you're sorry? Who's taking it to school? Daddy can. I'm not feeling very well, sorry. Oh, love, you never said. It's probably just a bug. I just need to sleep it off, that's all. Do you want me to phone for a doctor? No, no, I'll be fine. Well, I'll pop in at dinner time. No, honestly, it's fine. I just need to sleep, that's all. Here, he'll make you feel better. Thanks. All right, well, if you need anything, just ring me, OK? Yeah, you better go. He'll be late. Okay, love. Mm. Bye. See ya. Go on, bye. Oh, you know, you shouldn't have. Oh, uh, no, uh, Joe. these. Oh, right. Sorry. No, I'm the one that should be saying sorry. The last thing you needed was some drunken old talk coming on to you. Well, yeah, drunken maybe, but the rest no. Definitely. So, uh, are you looking forward to becoming green then? Me? Mm hmm. Hardly. Can you see me on a bus? I can't stand to talk to people first thing in the morning anyway, let alone being squashed up next to them now. Taxes are going to cost me an arm and a leg, though. And, uh, how'd you get on last night, you know, after I left? You know, maybe you're right. Maybe I should hire Haley or train her up as a personal chauffeur or something. She'll look great in uniform, won't she? Carla. Carla. Did you hit the bottom? Oh, I'd already hit on you, hadn't I? I'd been turned down. The bottom wants a fussy. Oh, come on, Peter. What's one bottle after the day I'd had? Oh, there's always an excuse. I could give you hundreds of excuses. You're right. As usual. You see, this is why I need you. You need to go to meetings. I have loads of meetings as it is. What I prefer is a bit of straight talk from a mate. Yeah, I understand, but... You know, if, if it's me, that's the cause of your problems. <laughs> Don't fly yourself. Not just a lost talk. <laughs> we are still mates, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Of course we are. So I can keep checking in with you? Oh, you better. Otherwise, I'm going to come looking for you, OK? And, uh, Carla, dry night tonight, OK? Yes, boss. You're totally overreacting. No, I'm not. I've just been sent, that's all. I should have seen this coming a long time ago. I should never have got involved with you. Just stop the bad. Just hire somebody else. And how are you going to explain this away to Peter? Explain what to me? What's going on? Well, don't both speak at once. Explain what to me? Leanne's threatening to quit. Since when? Since he started chucking his weight around, playing the big I am. I thought he was sick, he'd get over it. You're having a pop at her because she had a day off. We've only just opened. Yeah, and who was that down to? Leanne. Peter, just leave. Listen, me. I want to tell you something. You need her more than she needs you, OK? There's no argument there. So, apologise. I'm sorry, Leanne. I was out of order. Just forget it. Just move on, shall we? I'll see myself out.
that bloke? He's unbelievable. Peter, you shouldn't have interfered. I was just looking out. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, but I can fight my own battles. What am I supposed to do? Just stand back and let him take advantage? It won't happen again. No. I tell you what, it better not. You've got my word. I'm gonna miss this car. Oh well, you never know, you might keep your license yet, eh? And pigs might fly. No, I am just gonna have to satisfy my craving for excitement and danger some other way. Well, I uh, normally find one of Def Kebabs does that for me. You inviting me to dinner? Cause Carl's game if you are. Uh, I'd love to, but I'm just on my way to my own meeting, so... So skip it. <laughs> you know I can't do that. Anyway, how can I help Carl if I can't help myself? Oh, boring. I don't know, you won't take my calls. Oh, you back then? Yes, yeah, sorry. The meeting overran a bit, you know. I mean, you could have phoned. I was getting worried. I'm a big girl, Michelle. Look, uh, I'll leave you to it. Okay. So, is there any chance of a catch up? Only we didn't really get an opportunity earlier, and today's been insane. Yeah, look, not now. I've got some paperwork to finish up on, but, uh, First thing tomorrow, maybe. All right? I'll see you. Yeah, see you. If I'm honest, it's been brewing for weeks. Just thought I could control it. Sounds familiar. I knew how Nick was feeling. What the hell was I thinking? Well, you got off on the danger, didn't you? No. No, it was more than that. It's like I was testing myself for something. Was I worthy of Peter's love? And, of course, the best way to do that is to get your ex to fall in love with... Did Nick say that to you? Oh, yeah. Numero uno, that's me, you know. And what's the state of play now? I told him it was a one-off. How did he take it? Oh, he didn't. May as well have been speaking in Russian for all the impression it made. Well, OK, that makes things a bit tricky. Just a touch. Are you gonna quit? No. No, I'm not. I mean, why should I? I killed myself to make that bar happen. <laughs> Listen, you, you're preaching to the choir here, but come on. I saw the tension between you two. Something's got to give. Well, no. We're just going to have to get through it, are we? I mean, I know it's going to be difficult, but... No, I can't run away, Carl. I'm not this time. I always run away. No. Do you understand? Like you said, women like us don't do easy. Bottom line, I'm here for you. Whatever. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Leanne's leading me astray. <laughs> Just letting off a bit of steam. Oh, uh, she's been telling you about the grief Nick's been giving her. Oh, Peter, I've sorted it. Just leave it, yeah. Oh, sorry. So, had a good night then, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered, in fact, wasn't it? <laughs> but all good things must come to an end, so... Are you, uh, all right for driving home? Yeah, of course. I've had one drink all night. I'll see Anne if you don't believe me. Yeah, why do you think I'm in this state? Mm. We should do this more often, you know. <laughs> 